Okay, players. So yesterday, the long overdue impeachment trial for disgraced Texas Attorney General Ken Fisheye Fool Paxton began. And I'm going to go ahead and keep it a stack with you. It was a disgrace. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat. Let's talk about it. So yesterday, 31 Texas state senators gathered so they can hear evidence from House managers on the impeachment of Ken Fisheye Fool Paxton. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Now, those 31 senators did include his wife, Angela Paxton, as we know she is a Texas state senator. However, they already agreed that she won't have the power to vote. However, she can sit in and hear evidence. Now, some would argue that Angela Paxton is taking this situation more seriously than the fish-eyed fool because she was there the entire time. But baby, Ken the fish-eyed fool Paxton did not come back after lunch and it was agreed upon that he did not have to be there for the entire proceeding. But if someone is trying to impeach me for my job, trying to get rid of me, and I've been suspended without pay for several months, I would want to sit in and hear the evidence. But baby, the arrogant fish-eyed fool decided that he did not want to come back when it was time to start the opening and closing argu opening arguments and also the presentation of the evidence and witnesses. I just found that to be quite telling of the privileged mindset of Ken Paxton. I mean, I could lose my job, but that don't mean I got to be here. But I digress. Now, yesterday, the first full two hours was spent dealing with pretrial motions. Fish Eyed Food filed several, and I do mean several motions, to try to get this entire thing thrown out. I mean, he tried uh, filing motions on each individual impeachment article, and then he tried to get the whole thing quashed uh, completely, but the Republican led Senate rejected each one of his motions, so the trial had to go on. So finally, after lunch, we got into opening statements, and the House managers were very quick. Now they get an hour to uh, make their opening statement. Uh, the impeachment managers they basically spent about maybe 30 minutes or so, and they said that, "Hey, we're here because uh, Attorney General Ken Paxton asked us." asked taxpayers for $3.3 million to pay a whistleblower uh, settlement, and we refused to pay it without doing an investigation. Attorney General Ken Paxton refused to comply with the investigation, and we did the investigation on our own, and this is what we found out. And they said that they will be able to prove all the things that they said. They took about 30 minutes. Earlier this year, Mr. Paxton came to the legislature seeking $3.3 million in taxpayer money to settle a whistleblower lawsuit. Mr. Paxson would not answer any questions about the underlying claims. He had successfully blocked any discovery in the case for almost two years, and he refused to justify the settlement. The House investigated the serious allegations raised by the whistleblowers. The House uncovered egregious misconduct and abuse of office by the Attorney General of the State of Texas, now, the fish eye fool attorneys, baby, that was a different story. They spent the entire hour, I mean, every second, trying to defend Attorney General Ken Paxton. They said that they have evidence to uh, show that all of the stuff that's come out in the media about Ken Paxton not paying for the renovations and helping Nate Paul is a lie. They said that Ken Paxton and his wife, Angela, uh, actually worked with the insurance company to pay for their renovations. He said that he was not giving special treatment to Nate Powell by interfering in any type of investigations into him, and he claims that they can prove it. Now, this attorney here was upset to the highest level of upsetness, honey. He spent the last 30 minutes of the opening arguments talking about his personal life and how he didn't want to be there but his wife told him, even though she's going through a medical emergency, that she that he needed to come up there so he could deal with this sexy impeachment articles. I swear he said sexy at least five times during his statements. And uh, this is bigger than Ken Paxton. Charlie was a shit show on wheels. I was so sick of seeing that man. So at the end of the day, house managers called the first witness, which was Attorney General Ken Paxton's second in command, at the attorney general's office. Now he's not there anymore. Um, he expressed that he felt like attorney general Ken Paxton was doing some shady things and that he had to go ahead and move on because there was a lot of things that was going on that wasn't right. Now, 
we'll get into whatever else he says today but that's basically where it ended yesterday with um this guy being on the stand because we ran out of time so this morning things are started back up i'm actually a few minutes late getting in there so i'll keep you guys updated make sure you keep it locked right here for the black with the black accurate news where you can get all of your updates on attorney general ken paxton's impeachment trial this is double d mobile reporting for the black accurate news why i'm black and the news is always petty but accurate